Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. So this is the second part in the series of videos on the Zastone D9000. Quite a feature-packed dual bander from Zastone. It's got the dual VFO and it operates as a repeater on the same band and as a crossband repeater. So I'm going to show you those functions in the video today. Now, I must point out that it's not legal to use a repeater without a license. So what I'm going to show you here may not be technically legal in your country so don't do it I'm just showing you the concept for two reasons firstly because I said I would and secondly a lot of people comment on the videos who are into emergency and disaster communications and this in those circumstances would be perfect so what I'm going to show you first is the same band repeat function so as you can see I've got two antennas put into the back of the radio now so we're operating with two collinears here. Now, if you're using this in a proper situation, you would want the antennas as far away from each other as possible. We're not going to be testing this in terms of a range test or an on-air test today, so it doesn't matter. I've just got them in for demonstration purposes. And the programming to set up the crossband or same band repeat is very, very simple. I'm going to show you this now. So firstly, what you need to do is you need to set up your receive frequency and your transmit frequency. Now, the instruction manual for this radio says that the same band repeater function must be used 10 megahertz apart and on 446 megahertz. So it has a 10 megahertz split and it will only operate on 446 megahertz, which tells me that there's a small duplexer inside here, which is programmed at a 10 megahertz split on 446 megahertz, not actually dissimilar to the Zastone repeater. So it's quite interesting that there is the hardware in this, it would seem. I'm not going to open the radio up, but there is the hardware in here um, to create a same band repeater using a duplexer. So the repeater will transmit on 446.0 and will receive on 446.9. Again, not legal. You're in PMR446 territory there. But again, I'm just going to show you the concept of this for the sake of the video. So any radio being used to talk to this repeater would need to transmit on 446.9 and receive on 446.0, so the opposite of the repeater itself. So what I'm going to do is now program the repeater up. So firstly, we're going to go to the AVFO and we're going to program the transmit frequency in which will be 446.0. Okay, again, this is in PMR446 band, so you don't want to do this. Now we're going to program that into a channel, so we're just going to press the memory and call button and find an empty channel now I want this on 510 where it already is so we'll just press and hold that button again and that will save it to channel 510 and then we're going to go to the BVFO and we're going to select the receive frequency so this will be 446 decimal 900 that's as far apart as I'm going to put them just for this test and again we're going to want to save that so we'll press and hold memory and call on the BVFO and usually you would find a blank channel but we're going to keep it on 511 where it is and that's now in place so you can see we've got the repeaters transmit and the repeaters receive and of course on your radio you will transmit on there and receive on there now if you want to set up receive and transmit CTCSS tones that's really easy to do you can just go into your main VFO press function press menu go to duplex and tone squelch tone and you can see we've got receive and transmit tones there. So if we click on a receive tone, we can press tone there or DCS. So you've got CTCSS or DCS there. So we've got tone there. Put a tone on of 82.5. Just press the megahertz button there and come out of the menus. And you can see we've got a tone on. You can do the same for transmit. And then there's just one last step to follow, which is to turn this into the repeater itself. And if we click on function, and go to menu and then go up to setting mode and then go to repeater type you can turn on same band repeat we've got cross band we've got same band and we've got off so we'll press same band repeat and then come out of the menus now the key the keypad here is locked now the only way to unlock it is to press the unlock button there for a couple of seconds and that will unlock everything up and turn repeater off. So you can see we've got the logo there. So we are actually in repeat mode now. This is acting as a repeater, so it's listening on 446.9 and it will transmit anything it hears back on 446.0. Okay, so I've got a couple of handhelds here set up um, to this repeater. So these are programmed to transmit 
on 446.9, so the repeater will receive it, and then they will listen on 446.0, so when the repeater is transmitting, they'll pick it up. And that is how to program it up. So I'm not going to do any proper testing with this, guys, because as I say, it, it's illegal to do. Um, just check your local laws in, in the country that you're in on this. But as I say, I did, I did say I would show you the concept. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blip the repeater now. And that's as much as I'm going to do. So what you can see there is in that split second, I'm showing you a, um, a, a still from here now. So we're not transmitting at the moment. But I just wanted to key up for that split second there just to show you what happens on the display. So you can see on the 446.9 side of things, the repeater is receiving. So it's receiving what the handheld was sending it. And then it was retransmitting it back on 446.0. And you can see we've got the little transmit logo there. So that is how you set up the same band repeat function on the Zastone D9000. What I'm going to show you now is the cross band repeat. Okay, so the crossband repeat works in a very, very similar way. You've just got a lot more freedom and about where you use this, and it's it's not illegal depending on your licensing conditions. So you can see we've got A and B VFOs here. So A is programmed to one four five three two five, and B is programmed to four three 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 two five. Now. I've already shown you how to save these to the memory, so I'm not going to go through that again. But let's say you've got these saved through to the memories. You can do your receive and transmit CTCSS or DCS tones just like you did before. The only difference is, is we go into menu. We go down to set mode, repeater type, and then we want X repeat, which is crossband repeat. And then just back out of the menus and you can see repeater is switched back on. So you can see we've got the handouts here. The one on the left is on 145.325. The one on the right is on 433.525. And if I key up one, the other one receives. And if I key up this one, the one on the left receives. And what is happening is the repeater is listening and transmitting on both VFOs. So if I key up on the radio that is transmitting on 145.325, you can see the Zastone was receiving on 145.325. 325 and then retransmitting on 433-525. If I briefly kill the radio that is on 433-325, you can see you can see that the radio was receiving on 433-325 and then retransmitting on 145-325. So both radios are on different bands. This one is on 2 meters, this one is on 70 centimeters, but they're both communicating with each other through the Zastone in crossband repeat mode. So there you have it guys, that's just a brief show of how to set up the crossband and same band repeat functions on the Zastone D9000. I hope I explained it to you well enough. Um, like I say, using the same band repeat is probably not going to be legal depending on which country you're in. Um, 446 megahertz in the UK is PMR 446, so you know, just check your licensing laws, check your radio laws depending on which country you're in and make sure you're adhering to them. Like I say, the only reason I'm showing you and demonstrating it is because I said I would. Um, so it's not it's not something that's going to be used um, in this country by me anyway. And then the crossband repeat is a really handy feature. A lot of amateurs use crossband. Um, it, you know, it does have its uses. But again, just check your licensing conditions depending on which country you're in and what level of license you're at. But yeah, I hope that demonstration showed you the uh, the settings on this radio. Okay, so I think we'll leave that one there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, then drop them in the box below. And if you haven't already subscribed, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. And all that's left to say is 7-3. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.